welcome to the first Michaela Science Physics video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the practical on resistors in circuits. Look at this circuit diagram. It has two resistors connected in series. How would the current and the potential difference across the resistors change if you added a third resistor? What would the total resistance of the circuit be? What if you set up the circuit with the resistors in parallel to each other instead? How would this affect the current and the potential difference across the resistors? How would this affect the total resistance of the circuit? This video shows you an investigation that explores the answers to these questions. So, now that we've drawn our circuit, let's build it in real life. First, we place our power supply and ammeter onto the table. We are going to connect the two using a wire. The power supply we're going to be using is direct current, DC. Then we place our resistor onto the table and connect the ammeter directly to the resistor. Next, we will connect the first resistor to another identical resistor in series. The final wire connects the second resistor back to the DC power supply. Now we have one complete loop, a series circuit. In this circuit, current will flow from the power supply through the ammeter, through both resistors in turn, and return to the power supply. Next, we need to add our voltmeter. It needs to be connected in parallel to the component whose potential difference we are interested in measuring. In this case, we want to know the potential difference across both resistors, so we must connect the voltmeter to either side of our two resistors. We are now ready to take our readings, switch on the power supply and record the potential difference and the current in our circuit. We can then use the data we have collected to calculate the resistance of the two resistors by dividing the potential difference by the current. If we now add a third resistor in series to the same circuit, what effect would that have on the potential difference across the resistors and on the current that is flowing through our series circuit? Well, let's add the third resistor and find out. Pause the video now and make a prediction about what would happen to the current and potential difference in the circuit. The potential difference across the three resistors has stayed the same. However, the current has decreased. The potential difference has stayed the same because the total voltage supplied to the circuit has stayed the same. Because the total resistance of the circuit has increased, the opposition to the flow of charge has increased, and therefore the current has decreased. Now we are going to repeat the same process and build similar circuits with two and three resistors. However, this time they are going to be connected in parallel to each other. So as you can see here, we've got two resistors in parallel. The ammeter is placed before the junction split. So it is measuring the total current in the circuit. So let's place our components and connect them up with our leads. It's simplest when you're building a circuit to complete one loop of the circuit at a time. So connect the power pack to the ammeter, the ammeter to the first resistor, and the first resistor back to the power supply in order to make the first loop. Next, we will add on the wires that will connect the second resistor in parallel to the first resistor. This can easily be done by adding two wires on top of the first resistor and connect them to the second, as you can see now. Next, we need to add our voltmeter. Our voltmeter will be connected in parallel to one of the resistors. We can do this because according to Kirchhoff's voltage law, the total potential difference across each junction should be the same. 
So the reading we can get from this voltmeter should be the same reading that we would get if we had connected the voltmeter across the first resistor instead. So let's add in our voltmeter in parallel to one of the resistors in one of the junctions. The potential difference reading across each junction is 5 volts. This is exactly the same reading as across the series circuits. This is in accordance with Kirchhoff's voltage law, which states that the sum of the potential differences across each junction will be the same as the total voltage supplied. The reading on the ammeter is 0.1 amps, which is significantly higher than the reading for the two resistors connected in series. This is because, in series, the total resistance of the circuit is the sum of the resistances of each component. In contrast, in a parallel circuit, the total resistance in the circuit will be lower than the smallest resistor. This means there is less opposition to the flow of charge, and so the current will be higher. In the final part of our experiment, we are going to have a circuit with three junctions in parallel. Each junction will contain a resistor whose resistance is exactly the same. So we are now going to add the voltmeter across the third resistor. This voltmeter is going to measure the potential difference across the resistor in the third path. Kirchhoff's voltage law tells us that the potential difference in each path is the same as the voltage of the power supply. Because we have the same value resistor in each path, it means that the potential difference across each of the resistors will be the same. And so the reading we see on this voltmeter will be the same as you would expect across each junction. And so our voltmeter reading is around 5 volts as expected, and our ammeter reading is 0.15 amps, also as expected. Thank you for watching the first Michaela physics science video. Hashtag MCSI.